that's the 22 pickle farads and there's another lead on the two capacitors have a look at that um, now from the crystal let me just add this here and now get another another lead from this pin to the second capacitor so there you go now I'm going to connect these there you go have a look at that so far so now that we've got all that put together I'm going to connect the left pin of the small capacitor here to ground which is going to be that over there let me just fix the cables a little bit um, now that we've got all that connected the next thing I want to do is use pin 8 of the IC and I'm going to connect that to ground as well going back to pin 9 that's going to be 5 volts so let's get that in here so have a look at what exactly I've done so far and I'm going to be continuing to the other parts of connecting this yeah no it's actually a little bit of a mess but never mind okay so let's continue setting this up now I'm going to start from this side now adding a few more jumpers so from this side I'm going to one two so this I'm going to leave this is what's going on the FTDI so this is the TX and right next to that I'm adding an RX cable now on pin number one I'm going to be adding a resistor and from pin number one I'm going to put that on positive so there you go that's it on the same pin a little bit further up I'm going to be adding the 0 0.1 uh, capacitor and now finally I'm going to use the push button which is basically going to be a reset on this thing now pay attention on how I'm going to connect this now I need to get both sides of the capacitor on it there you go from the left of this capacitor from there I'm gonna get this little yellow cable now this this cable here is a TDR so once again that's what's going exactly on the um, FTDI from the push button I'm gonna be adding ground which is right here and the final two cables that I'm going to be using is plus and a ground oh, sorry a ground which is going to be here on the top rail now let me tell you again what exactly is going on the FTDI which is this little programmer here now the cables that are going on the FTDI are this positive voltage, the ground, which is these two here. I've got my TX and my RX, which is these two here. And I've got a DTR, which is this right here. So let's have a look and let's fire this thing up and try to blink a couple of LEDs and see how it works okay so I finished soldering the FTDI have a look at that and now I'm gonna be adding all that to the pins of the breadboard 
and then I'm going to program it using the Arduino editor and let's see a little bit of results okay so this is the FTDI that's already that I've already soldered let's have a look at the back of it there you go so that uh, looks like good solder but I test it now starting from the left we got a DTR pin there's an RXI, a TXO, 5 volts, a CTS and a ground for this tutorial we are going to be using the RX the TX, 5 volts ground and a DTR pin which is the first one right here now let's have a look again on the breadboard I'm going to note that we got the um, few cables that are actually loose let me explain what they are um, this this right here is a DTR I've got ground and 5 volts right here um, my blue cable is the TX and the yellow cable here is the RX so let's start connecting those to the um, FTDI that I've got right here so this is the DTR which is I'm going to put on the first pin on the DTR pin um, the blue cable here let me get it through that's the TX which is the third pin I've got this yellow cable which is the RX and I'm going to add that to the second pin right there, there you go. and finally there's 5 volts and ground 5 volts being the fourth pin and I think ground is the last one yeah ground is the last one so there you go we got this fixed for now so let's have a look on coding this and trying to um, hit this buzzer a little bit okay following the video that I've done before about setting this up I have changed the overlay a little bit and I've added that little uh, 5 volt buzzer module now as you can see I've got ground connected to ground over here and I've got this which is my positive connected to the top left pin of the integrated circuit in reality the Arduino reads that as being pin number 9 so now I'm going to run the sketch that I've made for my previous tutorial on blinking the LED on pin number 9 and we should hear that buzz so this is the first test um, so I've got the basic FTDI here and as you can see that's the uh, connection that I've got um, the actual sketch that I'm going to be using is the same as the one that I've had for my first tutorial about the blinking LED there you go that's basically it so now let's hit control U to upload this by the way before I start one very important thing is that have a look at this because I'm using a 328 it's best to choose UNO from the boards and as a programmer from the USB ASP that was right here I chose the MK2 because that's basically how this thing works one thing that I've noticed is if you hit control U on the keyboard that means that it's uploading the program without trying to look for the um, FTDI so I'm gonna hit control U right now um, there you go so you see that started loading now it should be over soon there you go and my little buzzer module here already started buzzing there you go see so let's try something a little bit more extreme okay so you've seen me play a little bit with the um, blinking LED which basically was a screaming buzzer so now let's have a look at something a little bit more interesting about this thing what I've done here 
is I've taken a micro 9 gram servo, this is a Futaba servo, um, and I've connected it as such. From right, which is right here, the ground, I've taken and I've connected to ground on my breadboard. The positive red, I've connected to red. And I've used blue as a signal because I don't think I've got any white jumpers. Um, I've used blue as a signal and I've connected that to exactly the same pin that I did before, which is pin 9, this pin right here. Okay, so now I'm going to upload the small example sketch that's on the Arduino folder. So to find that you go to files. There you go. So you go to files, example, examples. You go far down where you see servo, and I think it's the sweep. Now this will open here. It, it didn't open again because I had it reopened. Um, and basically this is it. So let's hit Control U and upload this thing to the board. And let's give it a couple of seconds. There you go. That zeroed in. There you go. Okay. Once again, I want you to know that this is this whole set that I've got set up here is a small gift that jconsystems.com has sent to me for the first tutorial that I've put and they've given a very nice and very sleek FTDI the thing is you need to solder these at the back so be a little bit careful when you do that because this is very sensitive and the kit that I've mentioned and I've reviewed before on the uh, first part of this video um, so, you know, this is really, really interesting. Thank you very much, Jacon Systems, and I'll also be back today with another video, another how-to video, and that's going to involve servos. So, don't worry if you don't really understand how servo motion works. I'm going to be explaining that quite soon. So, thank you guys very much. Bye-bye.